Hello once again guys. Um today I want to talk about uh Immortal Forever uh DVD set. Reason is um I'm gonna cover I wanna cover uh, the whole of 2010, maybe beyond that through the Hogan Bischoff uh TNA run. Uh, beginning with the Genesis 2010, which I'll do in the next few days. But before that, I recommend you guys watch this one. Um, before, if you were to, uh, if you wanted to go through that error like I'm doing, I, I suggest starting here first. So this is a two disc set uh, with a 15 uh, certificate. Contains strong sporting violence, apparently. So yes, it's quite an interesting looking cover. It's a very interesting DVD set, this. I think it's hard to come by now, this one as well. I haven't seen many around for sale. Um, so, this two-disc release is the definitive narrative of the rise of the Immortal Faction to power in TNA Wrestling. Led by the immortal Hulk Hogan, this group's devious takeover of TNA Wrestling and the banishment of its president Dixie Carter from her own company are traced in this DVD. With exclusive interviews from the people involved, this DVD exposes all the backroom deals, tricks uh, and internal struggles that eventually lead to Hulk Hogan taking over this wrestling company. From Hogan's debut in TNA to the final legal battle, excuse me, you will know the truth about Immortal. So yeah, so disc one, uh, these are the chapters basically. So you have the beginning, 10-27-2009 uh, Madison Square Garden. That, that's the the announcement, you know, the, the signing of Hogan from Carter, I think. Then we have... Uh, 1 4 2010 that's obviously uh when they when he shows up factions and friction the squared circle stars align tna makes the move team hogan versus team flair sting takes a stand they are coming the end of sting the road to 10 10 10 which is obviously bound for glory's uh date so abyss kept on about uh ev2 invasion which is like it ecw version 2 sorry i'm trying to get to focus here bound for glory the alliance they are here champions and the jeff hardy versus sting so yeah i don't want to spoil it too much that's why i'm not talking about it in a great deal because there'd be no point in watching it otherwise but yeah basically uh there's the discs two discs it basically covers um the the first main part of uh immortals uh run when they took over the company and they got rid of uh six sides which pissed a lot of people off um yeah um to put it back to the traditional four-sided ring and as Hogan said, you know, six sides is only going to get you so far, and now I'm going to take you all the way to the top. And I, you know what, I fell for his bullshit, I did. I, I actually thought when they started to uh, go head-to-head -head with Monday Night Raw in, in that January, I thought, wow, it's all it's WCW all over again. This is going to be cool. How, how wrong I was. It wasn't that bad, but... <laughs> It, it could have been better it could have been approached better but yeah I, this would be your first stop before uh before genesis because i watched this one before i'm going to review genesis i do recommend this one this i'm going to give this one eight and a half out of ten yes it's that good uh very uh kayfabe but you, you'll get what i mean i don't want to spoil it too much but yeah it's uh this one's worth watching before, yeah, Genesis. So Genesis is next for me to review in the next few days, as I said. Go for this one, guys. 
first of all, if you're going to watch this Hogan Bischoff era. So, um, comment if you've watched it already, please feel free. Uh, get a chance, please like my video and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Take good care of yourselves. Peace.